Welcome back to D Rock Garage. Blessed to have you guys watching this video again. Today has been an amazing day, and uh, this whole world of been traveling and finally got to the, where we are. It is amazing. We got a crazy amount of subscribers. Respect to you guys all. Thank you so much. Today, you guys are see I'm sitting in a Honda Civic 2004. As you guys remember, the last time we were pulling the engine out, and we went and bought a new engine for this Honda Civic to do an engine swap. Today. We are finally putting the engine in here, and hopefully we're going to get to fire her up. Let's get into it. Uh. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you guys get notifications when I do new posts like this. Uh, crazy builds coming up. You guys are amazing. Make sure to follow me on Instagram on DRock Garage. It'll be down in the description. Check it out so you guys get inside scoop before YouTube. Here's everything that we have bought. The antifreeze for the radiator, motor oil, um, transmission fluid, the belts, both of them. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting them on and uh, making some progress, hopefully putting the engine in today. The belts are on, both of them. Here's the first one, goes all the way around. The second one goes with a big one with the motor all the way around these two. Tightening are right here, this little screw right here pushes this bracket for the um, alternator and then for this one got to loosen this bolt up and then go ahead and unscrew this one push it further out well on this side on the other side right there there's a little nut right there 12 millimeter that you got to loosen up first so then you can screw this in and it'll push and make more uh, resistance on uh, more tension on this belt so yeah time to go ahead and set up the car and uh, start uh, getting it on the um, engine lift
engine, everything complete in. Final steps, already put the axles in for the transmission and now we gotta fill up the fluid. See, we got the ghetto set up, regular funnel and a funnel like this with a regular funnel down there just cause the uh, transmission is just for so far down we should have filled it before we put these air boxes, so, but that's okay. So we gotta just put the battery on, everything is all good here add some power steering and uh, put the wheels on and that is it ready to roll I cannot wait this is pretty awesome exciting can't wait to turn that key one time and uh, hopefully she'll fire it up but yeah guys we're gonna go take a break because it is crazy hot outside happily we got this nice little tent going on but yeah stay tuned we're about to get this thing fired up as you all can see we have finally put the whole engine in everything complete got the wheels on everything she's sitting on the floor by herself got the power steering in got a charged battery got this thing zip tied because one of the bracket mounts are uh, broken we'll have to order that a little bit later but hey we believe she is ready to fire up finally filled up all the fluids that she needed engine fluid uh, transmission everything like that so we're gonna go ahead and try to fire her up for the first time so this has been a long, long journey for this vehicle. It's already stood for such a long time. This is very, very exciting to actually, hopefully, get this thing to actually run on its own power. It's gonna be amazing. So let's go ahead and uh, get the key. Here we go, we got the key. It's gonna be first uh, connection. Make sure you guys don't forget to uh, connect your uh, cables down here, the CPU. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna prime the gas for a little bit. Turn it on. Hey, we got power, awesome. Look at that, 119,000 miles. Car's like nothing. All right, let us sit for a little bit. They said that this engine was actually uh, 117,000 miles, so that's perfectly fine, just two off. It's not a big deal, you know. Uh, and we did, of course, a brand new flush of the whole system, so it's gonna run just fine, uh, hopefully, if it starts up. Go do it again. Okay. Shut that off. One more time. And next time, let's go ahead and fire her up. All right, guys. Fingers crossed. She'll fire the first time. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, that puts a smile on my face so badly. I'm so, so happy. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Look at that. No lights at all. Obviously the seat belts because the car is open and seat belts are not attached, but no lights, no nothing. That is so amazing. God bless. We are, we are able to actually put her together because it is literally about to storm like crazy right now. And she fired up. I'm just gonna go in and shut her off probably later the next day probably tomorrow gonna get do the whole full-on cycles make sure to do that transmission uh, cycle where you put it in each gear hold it for 30 uh, for 10 seconds I do I like to do it for at least 12 just a little bit extra and do it all the way uh, down from park neutral uh, reverse neutral drive uh, stuff like that all the way down and then right back up all the way same 12 seconds let that uh, transmission fill itself and just go ahead and check dipstick you got that exact fluid but guys this is amazing god willing we were able to actually do this this is amazing this is a huge blessing crazy builds are going to be coming up because of the, we were able to be able to have such success on this so uh, as you guys can see we're going to put it in the seats in the back because we had to actually change out the fuel pump before uh, we had this uh, engine problem so going to slowly put it all together and it's, hey soon enough here going to be a test ride for the first time thanks guys for watching i really appreciate it and all your support you guys are awesome if you guys are new to this channel make sure to smash that subscribe button hit the little bell so you guys get notifications when we do new posts like this crazy builds are coming up for this future really guys appreciate you guys also follow us on uh, instagram to get an inside scoop d rock garage it'll be down in the description till next guys peace uh.